What's going on? Benji Kaiser here, and today I'm going to show you how to switch out the RAM on a Dell XPS 15. Coming at you. So we're going to get this RAM switched out, but let me tell you, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, I highly recommend doing so. I put out videos six days a week with product reviews, graphic design tutorials, inspiration and motivation on maximizing yourself within your creative field so that you dominate that field. Let's head on over right now and start getting the RAM switched out on this Dell XPS 15. So you're going to need one Dell XPS 15 and one T5 screwdriver. Two 16 HyperX gig RAMs. All of this can actually be found in the description below, so don't worry about trying to look it up. Just head down to the description and you can grab some links right there. Then you'll grab your T5 screwdriver and you'll open up all the screws around the housing. There's 10 different screws, but be careful because when you try and lift up the bezel, there's actually two hidden screws and I cut my finger open slightly, not intensely, on the edge of the bezel. So make sure you check out the two middle screws and don't cut your finger like I did. After that, you're going to take a card and slide it around the outside and that'll release the two clips on the right and left side of the bezel and that will allow the bottom plate to lift free. Now that we have the RAM exposed, squeeze together the two pins, pull out the RAM, and insert the new HyperX RAM. Like I mentioned, that's in the description below. And these are really high quality, 16 gigs per chip RAM from Kingston. After that, you'll insert the new chips, put the lid back on, tighten all the screws down with the T5, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching this video on how to switch out your RAM on the Dell XPS 15. Remember, the best RAM is in the show notes below, that's the description. And you can also subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, and send me a comment if this video has helped you at all. I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com, and I'll catch you on the next episode.